Crab, a widely loved seafood, is not only because of its special taste but also because of its high nutritional value. To get fresh crabs, it is very important to catch and process them properly. This article will introduce the methods of catching and processing crabs. This is the most common method. Nets are placed underwater in areas with many crabs such as sandbanks, mudflats, or near coral reefs. The net is attached to bait, such as small fish, to attract crabs. When the crabs come close to eat the bait, they will be caught in the net. Crab traps are usually made of metal or plastic, shaped like a barrel with an entrance but no exit. These traps are also placed in areas where crabs often appear. Bait is placed in the trap to attract crabs inside, and once the crabs are in the trap, they will not be able to get out. This method requires skill and agility. Fishermen will often wade into the water and look for crabs under rocks, in crevices. When they find crabs, they use their hands to catch them or use supporting tools. This method is less common but also effective in some cases. The fishing rod is equipped with a small hook or special bait to attract crabs. The fishing rod is dropped into the water and pulled up when a crab bites. This is the simplest but also very effective method of cooking to preserve the flavor and nutrients of the crab. To boil the crab, first prepare a pot of boiling water, add a little salt and if you like, you can add a few slices of lemon or spices. Drop the crab into the boiling water and boil for about 10 to 15 minutes until the crab turns red. After boiling, remove the crab, let it cool and enjoy it with salt, pepper and lemon. To stir fry the crab, first clean the crab and cut it into small pieces. Then, saute the onion and garlic until fragrant, add the crab and stir fry with spices such as pepper, salt, fish sauce and you can add vegetables such as chili, green onions. Stir fry until the crab is cooked and the spices are absorbed. This is a special dish with the sweet and sour taste of tamarind combined with crab. After cleaning, cut the crab into small pieces and fry it. Then, cook the tamarind with sugar, salt, water and spices until it thickens, then mix the crab into the tamarind sauce and fry until the crab absorbs the sauce and has a beautiful golden color. This is a way to preserve the natural flavor of the crab. The crab is cleaned, put in a steamer with spices such as ginger, lemongrass and a little salt. Steam for about 15 to 20 minutes, until the crab is cooked and has a characteristic aroma. Steamed crab is often served with a special dipping sauce. Make sure the crab is thoroughly cleaned before processing to remove dirt and sand. Live crabs should be chosen to ensure the quality and freshness of the meat. Crabs should be processed immediately after being caught to avoid losing quality. Crabs are a very attractive and nutritious food, but catching and processing them properly is very important to preserve their flavor and quality.
Hopefully the above information will help you gain more knowledge to enjoy crab dishes in the most perfect way. Crabs are one of the most popular seafoods not only because of the delicious taste but also because of their high nutritional value. To get fresh crabs, catching them must be done carefully and accurately. This article will introduce crab catching methods, along with important notes during the process. Nets are one of the most common tools for catching crabs. The net is dropped to the seabed or in waters with many crabs, usually in areas near the shore or in sand and mud. To make the net more effective, people often use baits such as small fish or animal meat to attract crabs. When the crabs approach the bait, they will get caught in the net, and the fisherman just needs to pull the net up to harvest the crabs. This method often requires regular checks to ensure that the net is not torn and the crabs do not escape. Crab traps are a simple but effective tool. Traps are usually made of metal or plastic, and are constructed like a barrel with an entrance but no exit. Bait is placed inside the trap to lure the crabs in. Once the crabs have entered the trap to eat the bait, the trap door will automatically close or will not open, preventing the crabs from escaping. This method requires the user to place the trap in areas where crabs frequently appear and check the trap regularly to harvest the crabs in time. Hand-caught crabs are a traditional method and are often used in coastal areas. Fishermen will wade into the water and look for crabs under rocks, in crevices or in areas with a lot of moss. When they find crabs, they will use their hands or simple tools such as sticks to catch the crabs. This method requires the fishermen to be skillful and agile, as well as the ability to identify high-value crabs. This method is less common but still effective in some cases. The fishing rod is equipped with a small hook or special bait to attract crabs. Fishing rods are often dropped in areas where crabs frequently appear. When the crabs bite the bait, the fishermen will pull the fishing rod up to harvest the crabs. This method is often used in recreational or research activities. Crab fishing must comply with regulations on environmental protection and conservation of marine resources. It is necessary to avoid catching crabs during the spawning period or in protected areas to ensure the sustainable development of crab populations. When participating in crab fishing activities, especially when wading into the water or using heavy tools, fishermen need to ensure personal safety. Using protective equipment and checking the condition of fishing tools is very important to avoid accidents. Choose live and healthy crabs to ensure the quality of crab meat. Avoid catching dead or diseased crabs, as they can affect the quality of the dish and the health of consumers. After harvesting crabs, the crabs must be cleaned immediately to remove dirt and sand. Use clean water and ensure that crab processing tools are also thoroughly cleaned to avoid contamination. Crab fishing is an activity that requires skill and skill, and must comply with environmental protection and safety regulations.
Crab fishing methods such as nets, traps, hand fishing or fishing rods all have their own advantages and limitations. Understanding and properly applying these methods will help ensure high efficiency in the fishing process and maintain the quality of the crab. Hopefully this article has provided useful information on how to catch crabs and contributed to helping you have interesting experiences with this type of seafood the only thing better than enjoying fresh crabs is eating the crustaceans you caught yourself. Crab fishing is affordable, easy for anyone to learn, and fun for the whole family. Getting started requires minimal investment in equipment. Best of all, crab fishing can quickly pay off with a delicious meal you won't soon forget. Our crab fishing guide includes tips and advice to help you bring home dinner. Crabs inside a trap next to a bucket in Calcutta. The simplest way to catch crabs doesn't involve a trap. Simply attach some bait to the weighted end of your crab line and drop it into the water. Wait until the crabs start to grab the bait, pull in the line, and drop the line and crabs into a net or bucket. Crab nets are easy to use and require no prior experience. Simply secure your chosen bait inside the net along with some weights, such as rocks, to hold the net in place at the bottom. Next, lower the net into the water with a rope and let it rest on the bottom. Once the crabs are inside the net, quickly pull the trap line tight and pull the net to the surface. Then, place the crabs in a bucket or cooler. Best crab hoop net. If you're serious about crabbing, you'll want a high-quality hoop or dip net, like the Danielson Deluxe Crab Hoop Net with Harness. With a braided harness and buoy, this premium crab net is sized for easy handling and maximum efficiency. The vinyl-coated steel construction and sturdy polypropylene mesh ensure long-lasting durability. Ready to take your crabbing game to the next level? Recreational crab traps are affordable, durable, and you only need one or two to get started. To set the crab trap, Secure the bait inside the trap using a bait cage. Then lower the trap into the water using the trap line. A crab boy attached to the trap line will bob on the water's surface and make it easy to find the trap when you return. A boy or visible marker keeps boats from running over the crab trap and line. The Sea Striker Square Crab Trap is a great choice for both novice and experienced crabbers. The 10.5 Crab Trap features a sturdy welded wire construction that is galvanized to resist corrosion. If you're crabbing on the west coast, you'll want a box trap specifically designed for Pacific crab species. The Danielson 24 inches Pacific Folding Crab Trap is built for Dungeness and stone crabs found in the Pacific Northwest. This durable, best-in-class, design complies with crab fishing regulations in Alaska, Washington, Oregon, and British Columbia. The trap features four entrance doors along with two escape loops for small crabs. The pyramid-shaped crab trap adds a proven dimension to any spread. The Sea Striker Star 16 inches by 16 inches crab trap features a sturdy wire construction with a collapsible design for easy transport and home storage.
The pyramid trap design meets most state and local crabbing regulations. The old saying that crabs will eat anything is largely true. Crabs are opportunistic bottom feeders, grabbing anything they can easily grab with their claws. They are often attracted to meat, but some meats work much better than others. Many experts agree that the best crab bait is fish caught from the same water. Crabs seem to prefer bait that seems natural to them and where they live. Any fish will work, including mullet, speck, croaker, herring, bluefish, and sardines. When cut into smaller pieces and placed in a bait bag, the oily meat will give off a strong scent that attracts crabs. Don't throw away the heads, guts, and tails of the fish, crabs love them too. When fresh, or rotten, fish isn't an option, try frozen or canned fish like sardines. Net caught bait fish also work well. Commercial crabbers have been using this secret weapon for years. Both live and frozen razor clams work. However, they tend to be expensive. Instead, try digging up your own in the marshes where you're crabbing. Crabbers have long used chicken parts to catch crabs. Unlike humans, crabs will eat almost any part of a chicken, including livers and necks. In fact, crabbers prefer chicken necks because they last longer than other parts. A quick trip to the poultry section of your local grocery store or leftovers from last night's dinner will do the trick. Coastal supermarkets often carry cheap packaged poultry labeled as crab bait. Turkey parts can also be used in a pinch young man checking a crab trap on a pier. Crabs will eat just about anything, but they prefer fish, chicken, and other meats. This may come as a surprise, but many veteran crabbers swear by canned cat food. It's cheap and easy to use. Just punch a few holes in the can and place it in a crab trap or net. A few key accessories will help you get the most out of your crabbing experience. You'll need a crab trap line to set and pull into the trap. Crab clips allow you to safely handle your catch without getting pinched. Avoid wildlife regulations by using a crab gauge, which allows you to quickly check the size of your crabs. Fishing piers located on quiet waterways are often great places to catch crabs with a hoop net or line. If you're not sure where to go, stop by a bait and tackle store. Tackle stores can provide accurate local information for both fishing and crabbing. Tackle retailers know their local waters well and will be happy to share their knowledge and provide trustworthy advice after the crabs are caught. The processing and storage process also plays an important role in ensuring that the crabs retain their freshness and quality. Immediately after catching, the crabs need to be cleaned to remove dirt, sand and other contaminants. Use clean water to wash the crabs, especially the crevices and the belly of the crab, where sand and dirt are prone to accumulate. This cleaning not only makes the crabs look more beautiful, 
but also plays an important role in keeping the crab meat fresh and safe. After cleaning, the crab should be inspected for classification according to size and quality. Healthy and large crabs are often more valuable. Classification makes it easier to store and process, while ensuring that quality requirements are met. Crabs need to be stored properly to maintain their freshness. If not processed immediately, the crabs should be stored in a cold environment. Crabs can be placed in containers with ice or in a refrigerator to maintain low temperatures and minimize the risk of crab mortality or deterioration. For live crabs, the ideal storage temperature is usually around 4 degrees Celsius to 7 degrees Celsius. When transporting crabs, care must be taken to keep the crabs alive and healthy. Use well-ventilated containers with ice or cold packs to maintain stable temperatures and reduce stress on the crabs. Fast and safe transport will ensure that the crabs arrive at their destination fresh and of high quality. Climate change and human activities such as resource exploitation and pollution can affect crab populations and their habitats. These changes can reduce crab numbers or alter their behavior and habitat. Conservation and management of marine resources are important to ensure the sustainability of the crab fishery. Environmental protection regulations and conservation measures need to be strictly implemented to maintain healthy and sustainable crab populations. Competition in the crab fishing industry can increase pressure on resources. Unsustainable fishing methods can lead to resource depletion and damage to crab habitats. Crab fishing is an activity that requires not only technical skills and experience but also attention to the environment and public health. Crab fishing methods such as nets, traps, hand fishing and fishing poles all have their own advantages and limitations. The process of cleaning, grading, preserving and transporting crabs are also important factors to ensure crab quality. At the same time, facing challenges such as environmental change and resource conservation requires coordination and efforts from all stakeholders. Hopefully, with a deeper understanding of crab fishing and the processes involved, we can enjoy delicious seafood meals while protecting and maintaining the sustainability of marine to ensure the crab fishing industry is sustainable and efficient. A number of specific solutions and recommendations are needed to improve current practices and address challenges. Here are some suggestions to improve efficiency and protect crab resources. Specially designed traps help to limit the capture of unwanted species or juvenile crabs, protecting future seafood resources. Minimize catching near spawning areas. Limit fishing near spawning areas to protect crabs during their development and growth stages. Develop and enforce strict regulations. Regulations on minimum crab size, closed fishing periods during spawning season and protected areas should be strictly enforced. There should be a system to monitor and manage crab catchers, check quality and ensure compliance with regulations.
Provide knowledge on sustainable fishing techniques and effective crab cleaning. Educate the community on the importance of protecting marine resources and methods to minimize environmental impacts. Enhance research on crab ecology, factors affecting crab populations and their habitats. Apply new technology in crab monitoring and fishing to improve efficiency and minimize environmental impacts. Developing a crab farming industry in a controlled environment can reduce pressure on wild crab populations and provide a stable supply. Developing ecotourism associated with crab research and conservation activities can create additional income for local communities and improve the livelihoods of local people. The crab fishing industry has great potential for growth if properly managed and implemented. In the future, the combination of technology, policy regulations, community education and environmental protection will play an important role in ensuring the sustainable development of the industry. The implementation of the above solutions will not only help protect crab resources but also contribute to economic development and improve the quality of life for local communities.